me tell y'all something. So exciting. What? So, Achara has convinced me to start using oil on my face instead of uh, face moisturizer. And uh, How's it going? I, I have been, and now my face rejects the face moisturizer. And so I, I was rubbing the oil on my face and it just got a little too close to my eyeball. So close that it went in my eyeball. <laughs> and now there's like a film over my eyes. So if I ever, during this reaction, I'm just like, you know, like that. It's not because it's making me cry. It's just because there's like a film over my eye with the oil that has yet to leave the pupil. So that's what's going on. I got a funny feeling. Anyway, hello people, I'm Jabby Kawei, joined by Achara Kirk. What's up? And uh, we're looking at <laughs> Ruhi, official trailer with Raj Kumar Janvi Varun and Dinesh Vijan, as well, well as... Ra Raj Kumar, Janvi, okay. and Varun are three different people. Why do they do Just that? FYI. They ran out of space, that's why. They wanted to credit everyone, which is a very, very lovely sentence. Here's a PSA to YouTube. Stop trying to cram everything. <laughs> it's confusing. <laughs> So it's starring Rajkumar Rao, John V. Kapoor, and Varun Sharma. It's directed yes. by Hardik Mehta and produced by Dinesh Vijan as well as Mrigdeep Singh Lamba. Mrigdeep? Mrig... 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 Deep Singh Lamba. Doesn't that mean long? Well, he's obviously a gifted individual. So you guys, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, let's get into this. But before we do, please hit that subscribe button and the bell icon. All notifications. The magic of cinema returns. Woo! Oh, so creepy. Oh! With the backwards feet! Why? This is straight. Uji? Yeah. I didn't know Uji? you could read Hindi. Oh God. Uji? This poor guy. Oh. Oh God! Oh God! Why? Oh, they're pranking him. Who's going to marry her? He is! मुझे तो मोहब्बत होली भाई अब अगर जे भी मुझे लव यू टू करती ना तो पलट के जरूर देखेगी पलट पलट yucky ducky no no bueno <laughs> So, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, even though she's super pretty and really hot? No. No? You know, a bitch turns her head around like that, I'm like, goodbye, ho. <laughs> no, thank you. Nah, 
No, 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 no. No jabby. No. No jabby, no daddy. No jabby, no baby daddy. <laughs> Hell to the no. It's just not worth it. It's, it's just not worth it. Why would you? Why would you do that to yourself? I really enjoyed that. You, you don't know if that's a claptrap in there. Like, you don't know what's a going on. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I got the bitch. <laughs> what's that movie called? Teeth? Teeth. Mouth? Yeah, teeth. <sighs> Jesus you guys Christ. figure it out. So obviously, Ruhi is a spiritual successor to Sri. Yeah. From what I could tell in my research, uh, the only overlap I could see is obviously Raj Kumar Rao, as well as one of the producers, his name is Dinesh, uh, what's his last name? Dinesh Vijan. Yes. Is the only overlapping producer that I could see here. And so it's the same sort of feeling, same vibe, same like tone, because it's a comedy horror. And you have a similar character, Raj Kumar Rao, even though it's not the same guy, he reacts kind of the same way. He's yeah. like, you know, goofy and affable and just, you know, trying to survive. Cute. But also trying to like resolve this epic, spiritual, ghostly situation. I didn't even realize I said spiritual successor talking about a spiritual, ghostly movie. Oh, me neither. How, how hilarious. Snap. So, but anyway, Rajan DK did not return this time around for the writing. That was handled by other people this time around. It was handled by Murig Deep Singh Lamba and Gautam Mehra. Even though Rajan DK didn't come back around, uh, it still looks like a fun film. Uh, yeah. I don't know if it'll be the same quality, but it looks Interesting nonetheless, and I'd like to check it out. And um, the the thing about it is, I think that this time around I'll have a better time with it because we're not allowed in the theaters. <laughs> and so <laughs> we have to watch it at home. If I get stuck, I can pause it, back up a little bit, and be like, all right, I get, I get the joke, ha ha, ha ha. Yeah. No, no, no people speaking Hindi around me laughing at things, and I'm just like, why? You know what I'm saying? I get to no, enjoy it. No, I mean, Because it's I... frustrating. It's frustrating to like hear people laughing, and I'm like, I don't know why you're laughing. I want to laugh. Yeah, no, you know totally. What I mean? But I, I, I'm, I'm totally into this because, I mean, first of all, every time I hear about a Trudeau, I'm always thinking about the stand-up comedy by Veer Das, where he he talked about the the Delhi ghost, mm -hmm. and the, and I've just been fascinated by the idea of this ghost because growing up in Thailand, we also had some crazy female ghosts mm -hmm. kind of like this, and then watching like some of the rituals and and stuff that that they're showing here I can tell you I have actually been to one of those mass exorcisms with my mom and my auntie and it was like that did they exercise you no no okay I'll, there, there was there was a well there was we'll a, go there and they'll exercise you and I'll go exercise hmm, hilarious there was a dude sitting like not five people away from me it's a setup we're we're all praying and stuff it's a setup. and then he's like losing his mind it's a setup. and and it was it was crazy it's I was, a setup i was freaked out How, unless it happened to you i don't buy it why or would, to me or to me why would i be because you got some possessed. crazy in you <laughs> you <laughs> you are an evil woman you're possessed yeah y'all don't know yeah, no, no, you don't. Y'all don't know, but, but anyway, it does kind of remind me of. Remember the Thai movie I showed you the yes. trailer to? Yes, I know, I know. Yes, yes. okay. It, it if you guys have that. no idea what we're talking about, uh, is it on this channel or is it, it on? It is, yeah. Okay. Well, it's there, you there you go. There you go. Yeah. So I just want to address why Raj and DK might, may, might be, maybe didn't come back around this time. What? And when we interviewed them, they said they don't really like to retread the same ground. Mm. Um, whether And I, I thought that they just meant directing wise, uh, but I'm guessing they mean writing wise as well. They always like to venture into new territory to challenge themselves, which I think is great. It is kind of sad that they didn't come back around this time. I wonder if they were even approached you know, for a potential like spin-off sequel, spiritual sequel, whatever the case might be. I suppose I can ask them myself. Yeah, I didn't know we were gonna do this video <laughs> until like yeah. five minutes ago. They were probably super busy with the family man as well. To right. be fair, and, and yeah. any other like By the time that comes out, they'll be doing. like three quarters of the way through season three. Yeah. <laughs> so like I said a moment ago, I, I think it's it looks like a really, really fun film and it's got the markings of something that I might enjoy because I, I'm more into comedy horror than I, like I really enjoyed the crap out of the, the zombie one, go, go, gone, that they did. Yeah. You know, I thought that that was Raj Kumar, not Raj and DK was who I mean by they, in case that wasn't clear. It was clear, wasn't it? I'm over explaining. Anyway, mm -hmm. so yes, I liked Go Go Gone a lot. That's totally up my alley of the, the comedy horror vibe thing. And so this is, again, speaking to that side of Jabby. I'm into <laughs> it, you know. I'm not necessarily into straight horror. I'm into comedy horror because it's like, it's, it's hard to scare me. And so to have a character who's like frightened at the situation, but it's all in the sake of comedy. Yeah. That makes, that's, you know, it's a feel good time. You know, I'm not expecting gratuitous violence in this. 
and the only blood that I noticed was when she stepped in it. It's like, oh shoot, I better do this backwards now. Well, like, I, I'm not even sure. Yeah, I guess it was blood, but it's also like symbolic of the, I think they wear, uh, brides wear red, something red on their feet. Mm. Am I correct in remembering that? When when they get married or something, like there's some sort of red thing. So there's that kind of symbolism too. And it's just kind of funny that the cure for her ex, for her possession is Marriage huh. and and I, I know, mean, that's, but that's a thing, isn't it? Like you, you have a woman marry a tree. Oh yeah. To deal with some bad juju, and so now it's a, gonna... a man can marry a tree too, and to deal with bad juju, right? It's not just the woman. I guess that's fair. I didn't think about that. It's just that every time I've seen that story, it's been with a woman. When I saw it in, I was gonna say Mirzapur. When I saw it in Made in Heaven, it yeah. was with a woman. When I saw it in a trailer. I believe no, it. it was with a dude because he married the tree and the and the tree was Anushka Sharma. So yeah, it could be a man or woman. <laughs> I didn't know that. I, I completely forgot. <laughs> right? Yeah, I, sure. Am I am I crazy? No. No, but like, like I wonder because I don't really understand all the nuances, and I know that Stri was kind of making some sort of like societal kind of. Thing. Yes. I, I'm, I'm finding it hard to sound like an intelligent human being right now, guys. But I think you kind of get it. Like they were, they were, kind of taking a jab at societal norms and whatnot. And so I'm wondering what this movie is kind of saying, like what the subtext is, because I don't get it right now. Although I'm kind of, I'm getting a sense that there's, there's something more, but I don't know what that is. The subtext is we want your money. Come watch our film. Well, yeah, sure. I guess. I mean, that's the subtext <laughs> of every trailer, I suppose. <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> give I mean, me your money. I don't. I, I didn't catch any. But I, I, then again, when I watched the trailer to Street, I wasn't catching any subtext for a, a deeper message there. No, because I think I think it, it would be harder for us to catch anyway, because yeah. you know we're not we're not really immersed in the culture like you guys are right but like on surface level i think it looks really fun it does yeah you guys thanks so much for hanging out i'm jabby kawai this is achara kirk peace out